my vlog now. <laughs> what is up? Welcome back. What's the Diddly video? Dandly. Wait, is that a word? No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. You've seen Max in the corner over there. Um, So this is my Saturday video and it's... We don't know what we're doing for this video. I don't know if it's going to be a story time or what it's going to be, but it's going to be something. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a special guest that you guys have missed. Yeah, people have like messaged me and they're like, I miss you in Lexi's videos. And I was like, I miss me in Lexi's videos too. <laughs> so, she's back. Guess who's back? Back again. I guess we should talk about how this happened because I know y'all have plenty of questions on how the this bitch sit in my room right now. <laughs> Why am I sitting so close and you're sitting so far back? Like, oh, I feel I so extra. <laughs> By a car. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Where do we start? I don't even know. Basically, when the whole thing happened, right, we were like, mm, fuck each other, like. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> but then we like, we would like talk a little bit, a little bit. Like, we would just like talk randomly, like, not all the time, but like occasionally we would like say like, hey, like, how's it going, whatever. So like, we were cool. We weren't like, yeah, at each other's throats or anything. So. If any of you thought that that wasn't the case, it was just for like 30 seconds. <laughs> we like wanted to kill each other and literally like, we were okay. <laughs> we, we had like a week of problems and then after that it just like all like went away. <laughs> okay, whatever. So, yeah. Avra was Avra. the one that sent me the video about Milo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> at Walmart. Um, so she called me up on the phone and she's like, bitch, you won't guess who the fuck I just saw walking out of Walmart. It's yeah. Milo. And I said, no fucking way. So, that's basically what caused this, I guess. Yeah, I guess it did. I guess it did. <laughs> I literally, like, I, I called her and I was like, I know we haven't talked in a while, but, like, guess who just walked out of Walmart? I was like, this is some good tea right here. So, yeah, the whole situation is dying down, but I feel like we should touch on it just a little bit in this video. At least our side. Can we just talk about how we're polar opposites in this video? Like, all light clothing, dark clothing, dark hair, dark eyebrows, whatever is happening here. Do I have makeup still on my face? Yeah. It's okay. It's good. <laughs> I woke up to her knocking on my door and I was like, oh. And I looked at the clock and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I Makes sense. sense. I don't know how the fuck I slept for 12 hours. <laughs> Anyways, so, that being said, getting back to this my little BS. It is BS is what it is. I think it started out as a lie and now she wants to make it a reality to cover her ass, which really isn't even that big of a deal. Like, if you walk into Walmart with your dog, like, boo-hoo, who gives a who gives if you would have just been like, I brought him to Walmart, like we had to go into Walmart for some reason, and like I don't want to leave him in the car. Like that's that's my thing. It's like I don't give a fuck if you have to bring your dog to Walmart you don't want to leave him in the car and it's like on your way home. Just go ahead, Milo. bring your dog to Walmart, especially if he's like Milo and he behaves and is like totally fine. Go ahead, but don't misrepresent him as a service dog. That's yeah. where my problem was. Yeah. And it was said everywhere before this that he was not a service dog, he's not gonna be a service dog, none of that. And now all of a sudden she has a boyfriend with diabetes and he's gonna be a service dog. But it's not even the boyfriend's dog, it's her dog. Yeah. The whole thing is majorly confusing and I understand the want to have a service dog because especially if you have somebody like me in your life, you know, amazing and stuff, um, <laughs> you would want a service dog. I get it, but it's really not that much fun. And like, this is something people need to understand is that uh, having a service dog is a lifestyle. It is not a, it's not a fun thing that you get to do every day. It's a lot of work you have to worry about. It's basically like having a baby and bringing this baby everywhere, even though like, the baby helps you. I don't even have a service dog and I get that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot I'm just of like, work. no thanks. It's a lot of fucking work to the point where like people around me are like, do you have to bring her? Because like a lot of people like give this attention and it's like annoying. I'm like, do people really do that? Yeah. People do ask me sometimes, like, um, especially like family members, like if they're coming down, I'll be like, they're like, oh, you want to go out to eat something? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, are you bringing the dog? I'm like, well, I kind of have to. Otherwise, you're going to get like drugged up, like, see? Because like if I don't have to go to the dog, I'll just take my medication. And then I'm like a zombie, kind of. So I'm like, either you can have zombie me or you can have me at the dog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that happens. Just don't. People just <laughs> uh, people just don't like the attention, and like I don't like the attention when I'm out in public. Like I get the same three fucking questions every time. It's, are you training her? Oh, she's so beautiful. What is she doing here? And and what can breed I pet is she? Her? Can I pet her? Like the same shit over and over, and it's repetitive and it's fucking annoying. So it's like having a sore stomach is not always a good thing. There's pros and cons, and the whole. Oh, he doesn't need one, but he can benefit from one is total bullshit. I feel like 
if you don't absolutely need a service dog, if you haven't tried everything, then you really shouldn't try to have a service dog because it is so fucking hard and it's, it changes your whole lifestyle. And it's not just like you want to have a dog and you can bring shopping with you. Like, go to Ross, go to pet friendly places you can go shopping with. Like, you know, and TJ Maxx. Every now and then. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's really not that much fun to have a dog with you. It's too much attention. And if you're doing it just for the attention, then you're doing it for wrong reasons. So, yeah, let's get. Let's get started on the facts. And so she tried to say something like, oh, you wouldn't let your dogs off leash around mine. First off, no, I'm not gonna let my dogs off leash next to a busy road that they can run up to. Right. I'm not gonna let my two dogs that I depend on be off leash so they can get hit by a car. That's not me whatsoever. And like Milo is great, he's good off leash, whatever, but she doesn't need him to be off leash. And so you can do that in your backyard. That's fenced in, you know what I mean? Like, this is the big thing. Laws are important, and especially the service dog handler, if you wanna do it the right way, you need to follow the laws, because they are set They are set there for a reason. Like, that's to keep everybody safe. If you're not following the laws, then like, what are you doing? Second way that she's not following the law is service dogs in training have public access rights. For That is so owner trainers can train their dogs. Joanne is not the handler, so she's not an owner trainer. She's training this dog for somebody else. She doesn't have a license to train a dog. So technically, she's, if she goes anywhere that's not pet friendly, she's illegally bringing this dog there. Another way is this dog doesn't have a task down. In Florida, you need to have at least one task before the dog can go out in public. So like, she doesn't have that either. The dog doesn't know anything but obedience, and obedience is not a task. Opening a door is not a task, that's just a trick. Because, you know, they're both standing up, they're not in wheelchairs, they can open doors if they want to. First of all, why would you even bring your dog to Walmart? Walmart is like one of the busiest places where you find the most aggressive dogs and it's like I go to Walmart with my dogs if I absolutely need to and so it's like it's like why why would you start training there because that's like that's a way to hurt your dog's training especially can, in the beginning can we just acknowledge how like in my video we saw nine pets at Walmart and she was all about it like all yeah, crazy all about, about it like, and how like, dogs, dogs shouldn't be in Walmart and everything and, and then brings her dog <laughs> yeah so it just it's like hypocritical it doesn't make any sense and this is my honest opinion about the whole thing. She got caught and now she has to make up or fabricate a story as to why she got caught. So instead of just being like, okay, I brought my dog to Walmart, like I shouldn't have done that, like whatever, we just had to go in there for a second. Instead of like owning up to it, she put on this whole defense and was like, oh my dog's gonna be a service dog. And now she has to roll with it. And now she's just so basically she's just piling lies on lies on lies. At least that's my view on it because none of it makes sense. So it just seems like lies if they're not. Sorry, this is just my opinion. This is like how I view it I, personally. I, yeah, I see it the same way. Like I see it's gonna play out like for a couple weeks, and then she's gonna be like, he's not made for this, so he's a washout. Like yeah. I feel like she's gonna do that. Something like that's gonna happen, and it's just like first off, she doesn't really know the first thing about training service dogs, and you can't trust videos online. You can't trust other people's opinions because not everybody has the same dog. Each dog is different. So it's like, another thing is it's like, training a dog to be a diabetic alert dog is super fucking hard. And another thing is that her boyfriend is type two. Type two, you just take a pill and then like, you're pretty much good to go. Like, yeah, you can have like lower high, but it doesn't go as severe. Like Nolan, for example, Nolan, his good sugar is anywhere from 80 to 180. So like, if he's in that range, he's good. If he's above 200, then he's really high. And if he's below 60, then he's really, really low. So him, it goes drastically. Like I've seen Nolan when he was at like 31 and like shit was serious. You know what I mean? And I've seen him when he was at like 365. So like, it varies that much. And how are you gonna say that like you're, it's, how are you gonna say that it's, as severe as it is to need a service dog when you just have to take a pill in the morning and your doctor already told you like, you don't really need one. Like if you don't absolutely need a service dog, then you should not be getting a service dog because it's just, that's not the way it works. And for everybody saying you don't need a note, you most definitely need a note to protect yourself. So if, if a cop or somebody, like if somebody wanted to take you to court and you didn't have a note that says you need a service dog and you're just like, my dog's a service dog. You know what the court's gonna do? The court's gonna go, this dog isn't an actual service dog. It doesn't have any professional training. The handler doesn't have a reason to have one for the doctor. So the two things that make up a dog a service dog, you being actually disabled, which I'm not saying he's not actually disabled, but that note is what proves that you need that dog, that you're disabled enough to have that dog. 
and then no professional training, which it's not needed, but you need to have like either of those. She doesn't have either of those. So in the eyes of the law, the law is going to be like, this is not an actual service dog. And that's yeah. the whole problem, is that she's not doing anything to protect herself. You have to have shit in place. They don't have anything in place. They're just, they just got the idea of a service dog and they're like, okay, I'm going to start training this dog and bring it everywhere because it's fun. Mm. And that's their thought process. And so like, go ahead, support them, whatever, but you need to like also understand that they just want a service dog for fun. They don't want a service dog because they actually need one, which is the real team. Yeah. But it's the truth. It's literally the truth. I don't want a service dog. If I could just take some medicine every single day, like if I could take a pill in the morning and it wouldn't make me a zombie and I could be fine, I would do that and I would leave my dogs at home and just live my life as a normal person because I have certain things I can't do every single day. Like I can barely open doors by myself because I have a dog with me. Like people have to open doors for me. You know what I mean? Like it is hard having a service dog with all the attention, with the negative attention, positive attention, whatever. It's not worth it in the end if you don't actually need one. Yeah, and he even said himself, like in Joanna's Instagram story, that he doesn't need a service dog. And the doctor said he doesn't need one, but he could benefit from it because he doesn't take care of himself and he f forgets to take his pills. Like at that point, set a reminder on your phone, take your pill in the morning. Like, take your pill. If, if you could... This is my point. If I could just take a pill and be pretty okay for the rest of the day, then that's what I would do. And then, so them saying you're like, it doesn't have to be a last resort, it definitely should because it is a whole different lifestyle. And I said, you know, so, you know, if he goes to work or he goes to school, where's this dog gonna go? And she's like, probably not with him. I'm like, so you're really only gonna be taking this dog shopping? Like if you're only, I thought you were like, <gasps> <laughs> if you're only, like, if, if you're only taking this dog out, for fun, when you want to do fun things, and like, is it really necessary? And that's the thing is like, is a dog necessary? That's the problem. That's the tea. That's the real tea, sister. Anyways, I guess we'll stop talking about it, but I just want you guys to know that like, this whole thing is fishy, and she doesn't have the first clue about what she's doing, and she doesn't want advice from anybody, so hope she succeeds, but. And also, I just want to clear me up, Milo's not a bad dog. Milo's a pretty awesome dog, but I don't think that they know exactly what they're doing to make sure that Milo has the highest success rate for what they're trying to do. Yeah. Which, diabetic alert is something super, super serious. Like, I probably couldn't train that when Ma um, Max, when Nolan goes to get his diabetic alert dog, he wants to get professionally trained. So, I mean, like, that should say something. You know what I mean? Like, normally they are professionally trained. It's really hard to owner train a diabetic alert dog. Because it's something that's super, super serious. Anyways. Anyway. Anywho, moving on. What? <laughs> I don't know. Come here, man. Well, here. Get her. Come here, man. Get her. Like, hey. Hi. Aww. Did you have a Ow. I'm gonna pretend to die, guys. Help her, Max. <laughs> if I didn't already die, you would have cut off my fucking <laughs> circulation. That's what I want to say to you. My fucking airway. That's so cute though. Come here, Max.
recording yet. Hi! Look who it is. Hold on. <laughs> or we should do something where you're like mad at me. Maybe that'll be good clickbait. Where you're like, I can't look mad. Just be like, ew. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Max has never seen a turtle before. Max. Look, Max is a turtle. He looks safe. Max meets a turtle. Don't go up that close to it. Come here, let's get away from it. He looks mean. Look at the turtle. Are you okay, Mr. Turtle? You look mad. Let's just grab your leash a little bit more. Oh, look, he's warning. What is that, Max? What the hell is that? He's so chill. He's like, he's like can we go check him out? Oh, we'll see him? <laughs> Max has no idea what's going on. This turtle is like, I need to run. Oh my god. What's he doing? Do you have no idea what kind of creature you've just run into? <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Turtle. Oh, he's hiding now. We stumbled upon him taking a little nap. What was he doing, Max? What's he doing? He literally like has no idea what to do. He's like, there's a creature. Turtles are so cute. I know. It just like freaks me out how many animals we have that still look like kind of like dinosaurs and shit. Right. He is not scared whatsoever. This bitch! <laughs> to get me. Look at him fall. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> He's like a turtle. Don't touch him. Is that a turtle? Look at the turtle. No touch. Ah! Max. Oh, you, bar you can't bark at him. You just scared him. Max, you scared him. You. Look at him. Oh, He's going around. Turtle charges at my German Shepherd puppy. This turtle is not scared of shit. This turtle is like, fuck out of my way, bitch. <laughs> He's like, okay, bye, guys. I sat with the birds, I met the dog, I'm leaving. <laughs> Look how he walks. Hi, baby. Okay, you want to throw the ball that way? Come back. Look at it. Did you oh. see the water come out of it? No. Oh. You just left it. Come on, bud! Get your ball! Or don't get your ball. He doesn't want to play ball lately. I'm sad. No. Well, this was fun. Came over here so you could walk around, bitch. Max, seek ball. Good boy. Good boy! Come here, give it to mama. Come here. Bring it to mommy. That's not mom. Ugh. Oh. Fucking rude. He's like, okay, I'm gonna lay down. I ain't giving you the ball. It's right here, see? It's right here. I ain't giving you the ball because I don't feel like running. <laughs> Lazy pup.